All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. Um, Easter weekend, Resurrection Sunday tomorrow, Good Friday yesterday. Um, before I get going on the content here, which again, um, please try to watch the videos. Not every video is going to be about Steve Perry. Um <laughs> I should just say I'm going to do Steve Perry videos every day. Um, I'm actually kind of moving in a different direction, if you haven't noticed. Um, before I get going on somebody who's a little bit controversial in the music world right now, here's an album that's not controversial, okay? It came out yesterday or recently. I got it yesterday. Um, the album is uh, titled Wandering Star by the band Flatland Calvary. Um, these guys are kind of like, you know, the Eagles in 1973. All right. Um, give it a, a listen. I, I get if you don't like the twang, uh, if you're not into um, the hillbilly sounds of West Texas, you might not really understand this. But I can tell you uh, from listening to it and from being a fan now for a couple of years of this band that um, they're really good songwriters really good arrangers and they put music out there that I think is honest and uh, sincere. And it's again, very organic. So Flatland Calvary is the name of the band. They're from Texas and their album is called Wandering Star, Wandering Star um, available now through all your favorite uh, music uh, distribution places you can stream it and get your money back at the end of the stream if you're not completely satisfied, okay? Aaron Lewis, he's another guy who's gotten twangy in recent years. He has this sort of parallel country music career going. Uh, he is the lead singer of the band Stained. I'm not a huge fan of Stained. Um, I'm just saying that kind of music, that post-grunge era stuff, just not my cup of tea, but he's kind of done a pretty interesting pivot. And he basically just unplugs and does acoustic renditions of songs that he's written. And uh, they're kind of country type uh, songs. I don't think he gets any airplay, by the way, over on um, the Bro Country channels. I, I don't think they're playing Aaron Lewis. Um the, the song here is described as an upbeat song that's very much about uh, not going fishing. He says, let's go fishing finds uh, Aaron Lewis calling out the nation's problems, but deciding to leave them for another day. Interesting. Co-written with Bobby Pinson, a mix of fed up frustration and organic country comfort creates an intriguing contrast. A lightly coded protest anthem with a let it be theme. Lewis says, I find the whole thing is kind of tongue in cheek. So he changes the words from let's go fishing to let's go Brandon. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, look, um, there are a lot of very frustrated people out there. Uh, he talks about turning off CNN. By the way, CNN isn't the only problem. The CNN is just one of many problems if you're going to be consuming any media at all. Um, it's funny because then the article has to, um, define the phrase, let's go, Brandon, like, uh, where it came from. It was from a NASCAR interview and is a G rated substitute for another phrase. Uh, and that's, uh, been abbreviated to be F J B. Um, these chants were popular during the COVID-19 thing demic. <laughs> The explicit saying was recited at sporting events across the country in defiance of the president's mandates. Yeah, nobody wants mandates, right? Um, I'm going to be honest, though. Uh, the mandates uh, started uh, before Brandon arrived. Just putting it out there for fans of the other guy. Um, after Brandon Brown's victory at the NASCAR Xfinity Series race on October 2nd, 2021, a crowd unleashed FJB during the Young Racers TV interview. 
Uh, NBC reporter Kelly Stavist appeared to misunderstand. Yeah, she appeared to misunderstand. Oh, who writes this stuff? She knew what they were saying. She knew exactly what they were saying. Uh, claiming the fans were saying, let's go, Brandon. Unintentionally coining the phrase. Uh, so it's good. It's good. Now you're educated. Now you know where L... But FJB, let's go, Brandon. You know where that, that comes from now. Because otherwise, you wouldn't know. See, this channel is good for something. It's so funny that they have to explain this. Because here's the deal. The people who don't follow Aaron Lewis and aren't politically engaged, which is most of the music community, right? It's most of the rock country community, whatever. I think the country folks are a little more plugged in than the rock folks are. Or the rock folks have this so-called live and let live attitude until somebody wants to mandate something. And then they go, yeah, I'm all for that. Okay, what about freedom and live and let live and your body and your choice and all that stuff? What, where did that go? Just this vanished. Can't find it anywhere, man. So Aaron Lewis, just he's speaking his truth, right? Um, look, you don't have to like Aaron Lewis. I have a few folks on the channel here, some patrons. Jim comes to mind. My buddy Jim, who's a fan of Aaron Lewis, says he loves everything the guy sings. In fact, Jim is one of those guys who probably likes Stained um, and bands like Five Finger Death Punch and all that. Um, yeah, it's just not my cup of tea. However, again, Aaron Lewis has done a nice little, he's got a side gig. That's what, it's, a, it's a side hustle. And that's a pretty good hustle. And he gets his he gets his frustrations out. You know, he gets to say what he really believes about the current state of the world and politics here in the United States. By the way, if you're from outside the United States, God love you, man. Um, it can't be as bad where you are as it is here as far as politics. Politics here is just like competing memes all day long. My guy's better than your guy. Your guy's a jerk. This guy is is the worst. And the memes, the memes are very creative, I have to say. I've seen some very creative memes, but people at home, right? They're at home doing their memes and they're not out there protesting anything. They're not holding signs for anyone. They're not doing the real work it would take to actually fix the problem. I think it has to be done locally and you need to decentralize um, everything. And uh, whether it's the schooling or it's the um, economy, you know, you need to kind of make your own way in this world and try to decouple from Washington, D.C. and all of the chaos and just the founders. There's no way the founders envisioned this. They, they were they were trying to get away from this. And now this is what happens when you leave all of those principles and rely so much on the government for everything in your life. So, and you listen to the government and you take their advice. And when they're wrong, like they were in 2020 and 2021, when they're wrong, what do you do? Do you just keep doing the same thing over and over again, waiting again for the so-called experts to tell you what to do? So I think that's the spirit of what Aaron Lewis is doing here these days and good for him. I mean, look, I don't agree with Roger Waters on a lot of what he says, but again, he has the right to speak out on the things that he believes in. And so um, it can get a little tedious if you want to escape the political nonsense. So you can escape. You can find this album, right? Um, not much of an album cover there, to be honest with you. you kind of have to open it up, and these guys are on the inside here, which this is what's cool about owning something. There's a picture of the band, Flatland Calvary, and their album, Wandering Star. Quality music, whether you like this genre or not. I figured it would be a good share during the Aaron Lewis video. So check it out. Um, I think I ordered that from Amazon. And they sent it to me. So that's pretty cool. Um, thanks for watching. Again, the real reason for this season, which people typically don't say it that way, is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. Um, and that is it. That's the most important thing. God bless everyone. Have a great weekend. I'll see you soon.